I want to preface this video by saying that this video is not something you should take as Bible. Please be careful with the software that you use, and uh, I'm not responsible for the breakings of any computers or monitors or whatever, you know. Uh, do this at your own risk. Now, when I first got this monitor, and I got the, uh, <laughs> I had no idea it was a VGA monitor only, so I had to buy an entirely different adapter, VGA to USB-C. For whatever reason, it only capped at 1680 by 1050 That annoyed me to no end. I tried to see if I could find any drivers online, and uh, several months went by. I finally found a way to uh, enable 1920 by 1080 which the monitor supports, and I knew it supported. Um, online, you'll find this utility called Custom Resolution Utility. And it's still being actively developed today. In fact, it is open source. Um, though I don't really know the license, but um, this also works on uh, all the way back to Windows Vista. So um, <laughs> I'm not going to explain everything about it. Even I don't know much about it. <laughs> but yeah. So download the utility, extract it into a folder, and you'll find these four executables. The main executable we're going to be focusing on is the CRU utility itself. You're going to want to run it in administrator mode, find the monitor which is yours. In this case, it is the bp 2 vga Now you'll see all these resolutions here. You can remove resolutions, you can add resolutions. In my case, I added this resolution here, the 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9 aspect ratio at 60 hertz. You can do, uh, add one by pressing add, you can set the refresh rate manually, and you can, well, select an aspect ratio. Mine is a 16 by 9, so I chose the 1920 by 1080 so that I could press OK to the very top. And after that, when I rebooted, it showed my 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio or a display resolution. Uh, hopefully, that helped anybody who had an issue with not getting their 1920 by 1080 aspect ratio or whatever. Uh, sorry, display resolution and whatever display resolution they wanted. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.